Hi, and welcome to the over the shoulder template tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how this template works and how you can replace the object. So as you can see, this template is also coming with tip and that teaches you how this template works. So we can see we have two objects like the object that it's behind the user, uh, which we call it here which is the penguin, and there is an object that is in front of the user, uh, which is the arm. So this is really simple. So if I want to change this, you can just simply replace these two objects. And also, if you're curious that there is a the visual scripting, there are no visual scripting in this template. So everything is happening without any coding or anything. Cool. So I'm just going to add a couple of objects in Sphere and a cube so i'm gonna add cube and then i'm gonna add a sphere so if i want a sphere to be shown behind the user so i'm just gonna drag it and put it in the head and now you can see our sphere is invisible that is because it's behind of the user so i can bring this up and now you can see my sphere is behind the user i'm gonna delete the penguin so we don't see it and we just see this here. Cool. So whatever object that you have, if you want it to be shown behind the user, feel free to put it uh, in the head tracker in the behind the body effect in here. And for my cube, if I wanted my cube to be shown in front, it's already showing. But if you want to like be tracked with the user, I'm going to put it here and place it in here. So now you can see our object, one is uh, rendering behind the user and one is rendering in front of the user. And when the user moves, it tracks it. So I'm gonna change the preview video so you can really see it in the action. So this is a really simple template and I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and please feel free to ch uh, share your creation with us. Thank you for watching.